This is Andy from HowEFIWorks.com and today I want to talk about fuel and AFR control. There are three ways we do this. Open loop, simple closed loop, or PID. Open loop. This is where no fueling corrections are made by the ECU based on what we see from the wideband O2 sensor. It's a little like setting your throttle stop on your car to say 15% throttle and then getting out on a flat road and for the most part you'll hold an even speed. But if you get to an uphill or down, your speed will change. So now let's get into the settings of what it takes to set this up. What I do is go to the fuel settings and down to AFR EGO control and the algorithm in the upper left corner we are going to set to no correction. If you notice the wideband O2 sensor is set up on EGO one port. So if we go ahead and start the motor run it for a bit and look at the traces that we get you'll notice that the RPM is relatively stable our AFR also is relatively stable I've got these zoomed way in so this is going from 1400 to 1600 RPM and the AFR is going from about 12 to 15 so you can see that the AFR is quite stable I've got the O2 correction or the EGO correction is you can see that that's running flatline because we do have it turned off and at the bottom you can see that the pulse width is fairly stable so now let's talk about simple closed loop basically fueling corrections are incrementally stepped in based purely on if the last O2 reading was lean or rich note that if you have a car with a catalytic converter the catalytic converter must see AFR readings oscillating above and below stoichiometric. So let's go ahead and set this up. What we do is again get into our AFR and EGO control and we set it to simple. We're going to use ignition events in this example and I'm going to set that to 10. We'll get to that in a minute. The controller step will step 1% at a time and I am going to use the use authority table option. You can see I've got this set up to only correct if the AFR is above 10.5 or if it's below 17.5. In my particular case that is the valid range of my O2 sensor and I'm going to bring it on if the water temperature is above 120 and the throttle is below 50 percent. Obviously at idle all this sort of thing will be achieved. The other thing I want to do is go to the EGO authority table and what this table does in my case today I've set it up for 5% authority around idle. My motor idles right about here and what it will do is allow up to a 5% correction at high loads. I happen to have ITV loads set up on my motor and for the most part I generally run about 10% when I'm out of the power. So now let's see what happens once we've turned that on. You can see that the idle has gotten somewhat more unstable compared to the way we were. If you watch the AFR you'll see it come up, down, up, down. And what that's doing is any time that the AFR goes lean on the lean side of Stoich, the ECU will start incrementing in fuel until it sees it swing to the rich side. As soon as it goes rich, right here is the red line, it starts incrementing down until it sees a lean condition again. See the O2 swing lean and it starts incrementing back. Each one of these steps happens because we had it set up as 10 ignition events. Down at the bottom you can see the pulse width changing around 1.9 or so. You can see the pulse width oscillating up and down as the EGO correction swings in and out. Now when I zoom way in, this is one change in the EGO correction and down at the bottom each one of these points is one full engine cycle of the motor. So we have one, two, two and a half engine cycles or ten ignition events. So every ten ignition events one more increment will happen. Now we get to PID. PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. It is when the fueling corrections are based on how far off the last O2 reading was from the target AFR and how fast the last O2 reading is approaching the target AFR. 
down at the bottom, if you type in uh, sites.google.com slash site slash FPGAANDCO slash PID, you can play with this stuff. That's a cute little demonstration you can do. But basically what this does is it predicts how much correction you're going to need in the future. So now let's go ahead and set this up. Again, we're at our AFR EGO control page, and I've set it, taken the drag down and set it to PID. And down here, these are the PID settings, which we won't get into today as to how to set these, but those are the settings just like on that uh, little practice demo page that I gave you a link to. So now when you look at the engine data, you can see that the RPM has somewhat stabilized back. You can see how accurately the AFR is holding the correct answer. In our case, the target would have been the dash line. You can see the EGO correction incrementing slightly as it makes corrections. And at the bottom, the pulse width is running relatively stable. So bottom line is open loop is good if you happen to have like a race car running leaded fuel where it's going to be hard on the O2 sensors and you may not have an option of running O2 sensors all the time. Simple closed loop is good if you happen to have a catalytic converter. It's not quite as stable as PID, but it gets the job done. Or, of course, we can always go to the PID control. In a couple minutes, I'll play a video from the race car where you can watch all this happening. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank all my friends at TunerStudio.com. These are the guys that develop Megalog Viewer HD, which I use to generate most of these screenshots. Thanks for watching, and be sure to hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have the motor running in full open loop right now. You can see at the top, the RPM is fairly stable. I'm tuned in at 1,300 to 1,700 RPM. The same as the gauge on the left. On the second trace down, you can see the AFR. It's really pretty constant. I'm tuned in between 13 and a quarter and 13.75. This motor does idle fairly good. You can see the EGO correction is running flat line as it's turned off. The down at the bottom is the pulse width. And it's fairly stable at about one point. At about one point nine milliseconds. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the circle.
difference in the industry between open loop and PID.